A different way to fuel up on flavor. An unusual fuel is being used tonight to cook up the tacos, zeros, and hefty fries at a food truck meetup in Sacramento. It's an energy source that creates no pollution. And tonight we're getting answers on how hydrogen gas is helping make these tasty treats a little bit more enjoyable. It's a first for Sacramento, a hydrogen powered food fest. Today is an example how we could use alternative energy distribution to power all these food trucks. The mobile food vendors attending this monthly meetup in Tahoe Park typically use gas generators to run their trucks. But this Friday night, they're tapping into a fuel source that uses the lightest element on earth for electricity, hydrogen. It's a good idea, you know, we're saving a lot of gas. The energy comes from 18 pounds of hydrogen loaded into a pickup truck. In the back is a 80 kilowatt fuel cell. Crews say there's no risk of explosion. Sacramento's fire marshal was even on hand checking to make sure if everything was safe. And unlike gas powered engines, there's no noise. And the only tailpipe emission here is water. When people are trying to have a good time at the food trucks event, they don't want to hear eight generators going on at one time. You want to enjoy the smells of the food and not the smells of a gas generator. Food truck operators and customers say they really notice a difference. We just have a little bit more of a peaceful environment because there's not so much like white noise and like yeah going on. But the green technology has some setbacks. A company that was supposed to build hydrogen big rig fueling stations in Sacramento went bankrupt. And people who own hydrogen cars sometimes report long waits at the stations that sell the fuel. Four hours to get gas. But clean air advocates say hydrogen is a key component in getting more zero emission vehicles on California roadways and creating a hydrogen highway across the country. 10 years from now, I'm hoping not only will California have a great corridor north south, but we're going to spread out to the east as well. Sacramento's regional transit is also looking at using hydrogen to power some of its buses with the fuel being trans uh, generated by sewage at the regional wastewater treatment plant.